Hey, hey, this is TDA and welcome back to this 17th episode of our By The Book Dyson Sphere Let's Play. Um, this is our By The Book Let's Play where we're using blueprints to do a stuff a lot faster and we're going to need that because we're getting to the end of the game. Um, but that doesn't mean we are done. In fact, it means we have a lot of stuff to do. But before I show you what we're going to do this time, I want to point out that if you paid attention in the last episode, you might have noticed that I missed a little detail on my particle collider build and that were the processors uh, those were missing so of course i've added them in and added them to the blueprint that i have available online as well now what do we want to do in this episode we want to focus on two things we want warpers and we want green science and why do we want those things together we can make warpers from graviton lenses um, it's one lens for one warper but that's not really the most efficient thing when you can also make one green science and turn those into eight warpers. And why is that so much more efficient? If you look at the green science, we only need one lens for two sciences. And those two sciences would turn into 16 um, warpers. So instead of getting one for one, we get 16 for one. So that's a lot more efficient. And of course we want green science anyway because well science we need that to continue with our game now the lenses themselves are not the most complicated recipe we do need strange matter for that which is this recipe which we haven't actually made yet so we will need to build that we'll need to build the lenses themselves and as you can see the strange matter needs even more particle containers so once again that's really one of those things that you can easily run out of if you're not careful so spread around your particle container builds, uh, use belts, etc. Like I've shown you in a few episodes in order to make sure you don't get bottlenecked and all your particle containers go to one build but not to the other ones where you also want some stuff to go. And of course building more particle container production is never a bad thing. But keep in mind you will also need turbines and as we all know turbines are the bane of your existence. Okay. Uh, deuterium, another build that we will uh, need to do. We've already put up some deuterium production. We do not have a gas giant in this um, system where we can easily mine that from because we're getting fire ice, which is very useful as well. But that just means we don't get deuterium from our gas giant. Um, that's basically the two options that you typically see in your starting system. That's not a problem because that's why we needed these particle colliders that we're building over here. So we can use them to make more efficient deuterium production, which is this recipe. So you turn some hydrogen straight into deuterium, which we are, we've also been doing, but this is a very straightforward and fast process. Then we need quantum ships for the green science and quantum ships themselves need plane filters. Plane filters need two more materials that we don't have, which is Casimir crystals. Um, pretty complex recipe and also needs a lot of hydrogen. So if you have too much hydrogen, I promise you, after you've done this build, you will never have too much hydrogen ever again, most likely. Um, and we also need titanium glass. And titanium glass is actually a pretty early recipe, but we haven't built it yet because it literally has no use other than what we're going to use it for right now. So all of that combined means we need to build a lot of stuff. And I won't have you sit through me building that, but I do of course want to point out that I've made all the required blueprints to do that in order. So you can just set those down. Of course, you will need to connect them up. You will need to connect them to your previous facilities. You might want to pick a smart place to do so. You might want to upgrade some of your facilities all in all. This is just to help you out a little bit with the tedious process of setting up all those production facilities. But you still have plenty of stuff to do, so don't feel like you're cheating or anything. Because you still need to make sure those builds are actually working and getting supplied. Alright, uh, let me get to that and we'll meet back here. Alright, and there we are. We have, this is the proof, our green signs up and running. We are also producing warpers over here. Um, as you can see, I, have, I actually forgot to set the cap on my warpers. So I have now over almost 5,000 warpers that I 
which you currently really need but anyway we have them so good for us i guess um don't forget to actually pick up some more person put them in your inventory you don't need stacks and stacks of them but you probably want to take a few hundred because you can of course stack them up and now you can warp around the system yourself the uh green research is about to start stacking up over here i'm just having a little buffer cre uh, created over here so if i ever need warpers there's already some green research in there as you can see it's almost filled up and remember this makes eight per green research so this is 1600 right there um it took me a little longer than i thought mainly because at some point i actually ran out of belts and it turned out that on my other planet i needed to adjust a few things because i ran out of iron in a few places so anyway that was just a matter of uh, requesting it from another planet and then that got fixed as you can see we built a lot of stuff so i built all the blueprints that i showed you just before we cut out we have now a very nice amount of deuterium being produced over here. It's already fully stacked up. As you can see, the bottleneck is a little bit uh, on this side. So the um, Casimir crystals are going very slow. This is because the titanium crystals were going very slow. That is something we did try to fix over here. So what I did was actually build a small build. Oh, 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 oh. A small build of organic crystals over here. So this is a requesting it from the other planet. Honestly, I might want to double or triple up on this because the organic crystal recipe is really slow. Um, but as you can see, it's producing. It is also producing some crystals here. And the nice thing about this setup that I have over here is that it makes it really easy to scale. So for example, this is now requesting organic crystals from anywhere in the universe. So that means that it will be really easy if, for example, we find a rare vein for organic crystals, and that exists. Um, then we can just straight up transport it into here. It will automatically ramp up our production and thereby fix all the other bottlenecks that we have because it's feeding straight into a few other things. Um, most of the things I built are not that interesting, I guess, to show you. I did build a few more things like, for example, uh, a dedicated processor facility over here as well um we had it on the other planet but it like i said before the break it was getting uh used in several places and all of that requesting it from the other planet turned out it was worth building another one uh, we are actually fully max producing components over here and again this is one of those things that i might want to consider doubling up on because these are chewing through our processors quite fast it's uh two per every processor so yeah that, that eats up resources a lot now um last but not least or actually there's two more things i want to tell you we have the warpers they are now stacked up so we should now now have our green research so that means we can also fly over to our nice little circle here and make sure we are now getting the last one in local demand remote demand might as well put it like that just in case we ever start building it somewhere else and let's have it exit over there and that will come in in a second now one more thing to show you um because of course this was something we did intentionally we were re already requesting warpers over here um might as well put it like that we are requesting warpers over here, so it's automatically using it to stack up its own war warper um, storage unit, and it's already feeding it into here as well. It is now automatically exporting or importing warpers, so this, this is basically a free spot. And if you just use this one to have this being fed through, then you will be able to get warpers in each and every one of these ILSs and that means that assuming of course you put some ships in there for example now I can request foundations anywhere in the universe and it will use the uh, uh, warpers in order to shift around now we might want to reduce this setting 
a little bit. But you can also just let it stay on the default setting. Doesn't really matter to be honest. Uh, it's a bit of personal preference. Also depends of course on how many powers you actually have. Um, as I can show you we are actually quite close to our power cap. Uh, we actually went over it a few times while I was building it because of course all the production was starting up and now it's kind of settled down to a more equilibrium. Um, but as you can see we're very close to the cap. So this is quite power hungry. Now we have all our production up and running. As you can see, we are also now getting some green research in here. And we are now starting to process on our Dyson Sphere. And for the Dyson Sphere, which will be the next episode that we cover, uh, we you of course need the uh, research for the silos, but it's also very much worth focusing on the Dyson Sphere stress system research that I am now currently working on. Um, why? Because initially the only Dyson Sphere you are able to make is actually one circle around the sun, which is not the most interesting. And this will allow you to basically really build a sphere. You can research it six times. So that means that after researching this research for six times, you can actually build a full sphere. Um, just at least making sure you get this once or twice allows you to make some interesting patterns and yeah, doesn't really affect your Dyson Sphere that much. I mean, of course you can build a full one and it will give you huge amounts of power. But even if you just build, for example, one or two rings, um, it looks really nice and you get a lot of power from that. And that's pretty much all you need to reach the end game. Of course, if you really want to process uh, progress into the end game and make whole planets full of stuff producing you might want more but for our purposes this is fine for now all right i hope you enjoyed this episode it was kind of a build happy episode again i'll just make a little fly by past our production facilities on this planet now it is quite huge um i think we're actually by now producing more on this planet than we are on our first two planets combined so that is uh, interesting considering this is only the end game build so that just shows you how much stuff you actually need and of course it's not just the end game build but it's also some basics to splide with uh, but it does show that, that there's a huge amount of resources going in there so yeah um, i hope you liked it if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one where we will actually start building our dyson sphere